Okay, this question is from May 2014. It's question three, and it's basically about probability. It says 9A plan a tournament. Uh, 9A are planning a tournament where the school's seventh, eighth, and ninth classes have to play basketball. There are eight classes in all um, that are participating in the tournament. The eight classes are 7A, 7B, 7C, 8A, 8B, 8C, 9A, 9B. Frederick uh, suggests that they organize the tournament in three rounds. In the first round, there are four games. Uh, each class plays against one of the other classes. In the second round, the winners from the first round play each other. And in the third round, the winners from the second round play each other. The winners of the third round's round are the tournament's winners. So the third round is the final, in other words. And there's a little diagram of it there. First round, second round, the final, and then somebody from the final becomes the winner. Question. Um, how many games will there be in the tournament with Frederica's suggestion? Well, we can actually count these. There's a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the final makes seven. So you could um, set it out like that. Total games is uh, four in the first round, two in the second round, and then the final four plus two plus one makes seven. Nadja suggests that they organize the tournament in a different way so that all eight classes play a game against each of the other seven classes. How many games will uh, that be? How many games will there be in the tournament with Nadja's suggestion? You have to justify your answer. Well, one way of looking at it is like this. The first team has to play seven other teams. And then team number two, they've already played team number one, so, that, so we've just got to think about six other teams that they've got to play. And then the next team has got to play five other teams and so on. So you can think of it as 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 makes 28. There is another way you can look at this. You can say there are 8 teams and they've each got to play 7 other teams, so 8 times 7. But then if we have uh, team A against team B, that's the same as having team B against team A. So we don't want to count all of those pairs up twice. So for that reason, divided by 2. So 7 times 8 divided by 2 is another way of getting 28. And then it says 9A agree on following Frederica's suggestion. That was the first suggestion. Um, Frederica draws lots about which class plays each other in the first round. She writes the class's names um, on a piece of paper and puts the eight pieces of paper in a bag. She draws out 9A first and she wants to pick out the class or, or, or now she she's wants to pick out the class that uh, 9A are playing against. And then the, there's a helpful diagram of that with uh, her with the different classes in the bag and she's picked out 9A first and those are the ones left in the bag. 9A would rather play against one of the three seventh classes what is the probability that Frederica draws one of the three seventh classes? And you can see from this picture that it's a bag with seven things left in it, and three of them are the ones she wants, the three seven classes. So it's essentially three out of seven, and you can just write that as three seventh as a fraction, if you like, or you could convert that to a decimal by doing three divided by seven. There's the neat answers, and the marks were 444. Four, four.